Shalom. I'm your brother Jeremiah from the branch of GMS South Carolina Millens. And before we start off, all praise, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Raka Kudash. Double honors are to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. And Shalom to you, hopeful elect, scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Just a quick lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. The warning has gone out, and you know that warning comes from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai unto the house of Israel to repent. All right. Also, you know, warning them of prophecy, man. All right, things that are about to come to pass. All right, and the Lord, Yahweh Shai, he gives that warning by way of the mouths of his prophets, man. His men that he has set up, you know, start with the apostles, the elder bishops of Great Millstone on down, man. Okay, and you know, <clears throat> you know, this word has been going forth, you know, of course, from their elders, man. So really this truth has been going out this warning has been going out for decades man all right and there's not going to be no excuse in the times to come man okay and, and you know pertaining unto that warning you know that warning has been going out day and night as the scriptures say man all right matter of fact uh reading that within the book of isaiah chapter 62 and verse 6 it says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. And we know that the watchman is another word for the prophets, man. Okay, the, the watchmen, the prophets are standing upon their watch, you know, measuring the times, man. Diligently, as the scriptures say in 2nd Edges 9 and 1, man. All right, and they're giving warning unto who? The house of Israel, man. Okay, it says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. All right, it's a people before it's a place. Excuse me. All right, and Jerusalem uh, stands for the city of peace. Okay, it says, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. So you see this warning goes out day and night, man. All right, throughout the four corners, you know, across the whole world, man. Okay, you got brothers... You know, that, that's mainly the bulk of the prophets, the Israelites, are uh, here in America. All right, but you got brothers scattered all over. So when that warning is going out over here where it's daytime over here in the Americas and it's nighttime over, you know, uh, across the waters, you know, the prophets, you know, are, are singing the same song, giving the same warning, preaching the same truth, man. Okay. You know, you you could have uh, brothers here in Babylon, man, in America, man, and throughout the the wee hours of the night, all right, uh, still videos, still lessons going up, man. Okay, it says, "We shall never hold their peace day nor night." Ye that make mention of the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai, keep not silence. All right, and that's a commandment, man, and we are to continue to give warning. Unto the house of Israel, man. Keep not silence. And give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And pertaining unto the Israelites, Jerusalem, we're not a praise in the earth. So that means that there's still warning to be given. There's still work to be done, man. Okay? And this warning has gone out. There is a such thing as too late, man. Okay, as the elder Manat the Zakba from South Carolina would say, there is a such thing as too late. Because we know according to prophecy, there's a cutoff point. Known as the, the, the famine of the word, man. Okay, Amos 8 and 11. And then that's when Jake going to try to try to seek the word of the Lord. But guess what? It's going to be too late, man. All right, matter of fact, I want to read that, man. All right, because we see the, the legislations in Canada. We see this devil trying to uh, deem, you know, uh, certain scriptures, the Bible, you know, as hate speech. This is all leading up to that famine. This is ultimately the Lord doing this, man. Okay, because Yahweh Shemel Shai controls the right hand, the righteous. 
All right. And your how about your shot controls the left hand, the wicked, pertaining unto these devils, man. All right. So this is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come. I mean, in prophecy, saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So pretty soon, there ain't going to be no more warning. There ain't going to be no more prophesying out of the mouths of the prophets. And this is according to prophecy of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. It's going to be a famine of the word, man. Verse 8, uh, verse 12. Uh, Amos 8 and verse 12 It says And they shall wander from sea to sea And north even to the east And who is this talking about? This is talking about two thirds The ones who ain't take heed unto the warning The ones who ain't hearken unto the word of the Lord man. It says They shall run to and fro To seek the word of the Lord Yahweh Shai, And shall not find it And that's why the scriptures tell us To seek the Lord while he may be found man because once that famine of the word hits and you ain't take that warning and you ain't get yourself in order, you ain't repent to your how about Shimao Shai, hey, it's judgment from then on, man. Okay, and the only ones who gonna be exempt from that don't have that spiritual mark of the Thawa, according to Ezekiel 9 and 4, is the hopeful elect. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh Shimao Shai. While he may be found So that means it's going to be a time You ain't going to be able to seek the Lord man You ain't going to be able to get this word man As we read You know pertaining to the famine of the word It says call ye upon him While he is near And that, that pertains to calling on his true name man Okay uh, uh, Calling upon the true name of the heavenly father Which is Yahweh And calling on the true name of his son Which is Yahweh Shai well, for all the ones that's in this grace period, you know, using their liberty to call on Christ, to call on all these different idol gods, that's going to fail them in the time of trouble, man. Okay, they ain't even going to, they're going to they gonna know the true name of the Heavenly Father, and they're going to know the true name of His Son, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and, and the Lord is not going to hear them. So reading on Isaiah 55 and 7, let the wicked forsake his way, and that's our warning, man. Repent, turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that wicked is pretending unto an Israelite that's within his sins, man. Okay, pretending unto the wicked Esau Edom, according to uh, Hebrews 12 and 16 on down to 17. There's no place of repentance for Esau. Okay, and how do we know that Esau is the wicked? Malachi 4. Uh, one and four, excuse me. They're the border of wickedness. Okay, so this is talking about an Israelite within his sins. Verse seven Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Yeah, you gotta put out your own thoughts, man, because the scriptures tell us, Proverbs 3 and 5, to trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And that word heart goes into, you know, your mind, man. La'ab. Okay. So uh, back in Isaiah 55 and 7, let the wicked forsake his way and let the, unri and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return, repent, return unto the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, and he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. So you see, we serve a merciful power, okay? And the only ones who are going to obtain that mercy is the hopeful elect, the ones who are actually repented, man. Turn back to Yahweh Shem Shai in action and in words, man. Okay? But for you two-thirds, we are giving you warning. The prophets are giving you warning. Yahweh Shem Shai is giving you warning, man. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, unto you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans of today. The Lord has set up watchmen prophets to warn you to tell you to repent to warn you of prophecy man okay and matter of fact let me back up that point all right because we were sent out there to prophesy and to prophesy means what to say before man okay second edge of 15 and 1 behold speak thou in the ears of my people you so-called blacks hispanics and native americans you israelites the words of prophecy 
which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shimon Hawashai. So back in Ezekiel 3 and 17, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So we warning you Israelites, man. Well before the judgment comes, man. Well before the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Before all the prophecies pop off, man. Okay, before Yahweh Shai returns, man. <sighs> Verse 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest not him not warning, nor speakest to warn that wicked from his wicked way, to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. So you see, this warning is to save your life. Okay? For the ones who take heed, hey, your life is going to be spared. Mercy is going to be granted unto you by Yahweh Shem Shai. Because pertaining unto our power, hey, unto the Heavenly Father Yahweh belongs the issues from death. Okay? But if we don't get that warning, their blood is going to be on our hands, man. All right? And that shows you the seriousness of this work, man. Okay? Verse 19, it says, Yet if thou warn the wicked, the uh, uh, Israelite that's within his sins, and he turn not from his wickedness, meaning he don't take heed unto that warning, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. So the blood going to be off our hands. And for that one, the two-thirds who don't take heed, a hey, judgment unto them, man. Okay? They already got the warning. Just as we got the warning. Okay? So, Lord will, this is edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shemel Shai. The warning has gone out. And there's so many more scriptures pertaining unto the warning unto you Israelites, man. The only thing is, you know, the two-thirds, they don't see it as Yahweh Shemel Shai speaking through his men, man. To give them that warning. Hebrews 1 and 1. Yahweh by Shimei Abishai, who at sun-dry times and in diverse manners, spake, he speaks, and time pass unto the fathers by the prophets, and nothing has changed today, man. The Lord sent out his men, his prophets, his angels, that word angels goes into messengers of the Most High, to give warning well before the judgment, well before the prophecies come to pass man lord will this is edifying i'm gonna end off by giving all praises unto yahweh shem yahweh shai call halayim la yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham raka kwadash double honors unto the apostles and the elders of great millstone who teach and who rule well and shalom unto you hopeful elect and for any brothers any sisters all right who need that reminder you know the feast of unleavened bread you know, it's still going on. Take It goes on for uh, seven days, okay? It started, you know, on, on the night of the Pesach, okay? And it ends, you know, uh, the evening of, of the 30th, March the 30th, okay? So no unleavened, uh, no leavened bread, all right? Got to eat unleavened bread. So Lord Willis is edifying with that shalom.